hello it's afronix again all right today we are going to see how to customize purchase it graphics now as we can see here is the graphics interface you can change the grid here is the grid if we go to this part to toggle the grid we can change it to a plain mode we can change it to this and these are the typical way of setting your graphics right so today we want to do some a little bit changing to customize things here and there so that our circuit will come to life so with that we're going straight to this place called template if you click on template you go right down set design color so if you go to set design colors click on it now here we have the paper color and the paper color is the background as we can see the background of the graphics and then we have the grid color so the grid how you want the grid to be and then we have work area color which is in green we have world box color so you can see this is the wall box color then we have highlight color okay then when you highlight a particular component or a design so the color it will show here it is it is in red and also we have drag color and this drag color is like when you are dragging a component um, to fix it at a particular point the color it will show now here is the animation part like there are some components that you can animate so when you are animating them these are the colors that appear for positive color and then we have for ground as we can see we have for negative color and then we have logic gate like if you are using some of this logic gate logic state if one indicate red which shows that it, it is on and zero indicate blue which shows that it is off and then we have um, when it is in none of the state that is either zero or one it has a color that it will indicate which is in gray okay here if you want to change your font it's very easy so here just click on this drop down you can select your favorite font but i will go with this area which is um, kind of um, def default font then when you have you and when you have set that you just have to click on this okay button if you want you can show hidden text if you want you can show hidden pins okay so now i want to change my paper color it is in grayish or kind of like a brownish color such as so if i click on this drop down it will show me some colors here that i will select from now as we know that um as most of the applications and softwares around today most of the time we go for dark mode and it really helps right so that to avoid reflection of light from the computer if you want to make the background to be dark mode so you just have to click on this black and then we have the grid the grid you can select any color i would like to go with white as the grid color so from there i just have to hit on okay boom as we can see it looks great right so this one can go a long way right you can change the background like this it looks nice you can go with this then we have so let us now change world box color so let if we hit on to graphics again go to set design colors we go to world box color so you click on it let me give it a pink and see good it looks great right they say pink is for ladies so shout out to all my ladies subscribers thank you for subscribing to our phronix we really appreciate you so we've set our design this way now it's time for us to look at some areas but we can do that by following circuit we did the last time so let us go straight into that all right so this was our last circuit that we drew so if we are to customize the background or the graphics this is how it will look like so uh, it's kind of let us toggle 
okay now we can see clearly as we can see it's not that bright right or it's not according to how we want it okay maybe some people might prefer it this way but if you want to edit this component and the lines you can just hit on to template again now next we'll go to this set graphic styles click on it now here's the component the component i have in this color okay so i would like to i'll take the components like that way and if you want to select other side like the pins you want to change the pin colors okay click on the pin and if you want to change the color you just have to click on this color the drop down you click on it then this color format will appear so you can select the desired pin color you want all right so let's see how give this guys this dark pink okay if i give it click on it then i can select again let's say we go for the wires huh? the wires maybe may want to give it red color to indicate that it is having energy you can just click on it red okay so if we click close here boom as we can see the circuit is now being animated and it looks great right so if you have many components you just have to hit on to template go to set graphic styles then you come to this drop down you can select as many components as you want okay now let us go for the terminal okay for the terminal ground is a terminal if you click on it it has this dark green color okay so let us click on it and let us give it this color say okay you see it changed here right good now that is how you can customize some of the components you just have to know the names of the component then you can customize them how you want so i'm seeing this junction here and i want to change the color of these junctions so just have to hit on template again set graphic style now click on this drop down go down to wire dot okay if you click on this wire dot it is having this dark green line so you just have to click on drop down maybe you may want to give it yellow all right so if you click on the yellow say so close so you can see the junction or the dots they've now changed to yellow right that will indicate that it is a junction as as we know since when we started these components we are having text right labels we are giving to them so if you come to template you go to set text styles click on it it's for component ids okay if you click on component ids then you can click on this drop down let us say we give them this nice color as this one okay if you click and close boom see they appeared right now uh, but we know that the resistors and this voltage source was having value if you click on template I go to set text styles then we hit onto instead of component id we just have to click on it and then you say component value click on it then we can change the component value also let us say we give it uh, this color all right so now it looks very nice and it looks great okay so guys this is how you go about in customizing your purchase eight professional graphics all right so next thank you for watching this video